morning, everyone. You're welcome once again to our Open Heavens devotional. Today, January 9, 2021. Good morning once again. And our topic for today is be spiritually sensitive. And our test will be taken from Judges 16, from verse 4 to 21. I read, And it came to pass afterward that he loved a woman in the valley of Surak, whose name was Delilah. And the Lord of the Philistine came up unto her and said unto her, Entice him. And see wherein his great strength lieth, and by what means we may prevail against him, that we may bind him to afflict him, and will give thee every one of us eleven hundred pieces of silver. And Delilah said to Samson, Tell me, I pray thee, wherein thy strength lieth, and wherein thou mightest be bound to afflict thee. Let me put a stop there. I think Samson should have been sensitive enough. How would a woman come to ask you? to ask where your strength lies and ask that we may bound you and also afflict you. That's, that's, so, that's so visible enough to know this is the devil at work. But can you say something was not sensitive enough to even say, why would you even ask me that question in the first place? A woman I loved. A woman I even love, not I love, I had loved. A woman I love. To be asking me such a question, spiritually sensitive. And our memory verse will be taken from 1 Corinthians 2.15 and it says, but he that is spiritually judges all things, but he that is spiritual judges all things, yet he himself is judged of no man. In this new year, if there is nothing we would ask God for, is that God should help us to be spiritually sensitive per time. Spiritually sensitive to hear when he speaks to us. Spiritually sensitive to see what lies ahead of us spiritually sensitive to be able to understand the things of the spirit because the devil is all around seeking who to devour and we could see in the story of delilah and samson the devil will never stop looking out for us he will never stop to always want to devour children of god delilah kept asking samson and samson was even also responding okay he said okay try this she tried it, it didn't work try this until he finally got something down his eyes were removed he was bound he was afflicted a strong man and the devil does not even know a strong or a stronger man he goes out for anyone and that's why this year we must trust god to be spiritually sensitive the devil comes in diverse ways most times we, we blame it on government. We blame it on recession. You say, well, you ask you, why is your business not doing well? You say, it's the government, it's the policy around not knowing that it's the devil that is dealing with your business or your children. You just say, it's the weather. When, when, when it's cold, all my children fall sick. When it's cold, all my children always have malaria. That is not God's word over your life. God expects of us to be in good health. God expects of us to prosper. So anytime we are living below God's expectation or below God's words over our life, just know that there's something wrong. And this new year more than ever before, let's pray more. Because it's only God that can help us. There are seen battles, there are new unseen battles. There was a scenario that he was, 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 was um, talking about in today's um, Open Heavens. He said a lady has a mother-in-law and the mother-in-law gave her a bread and says after eating this bread your womb will be blocked and for several years she never conceived until she attended a service and that's why the scripture says don't forsake the gathering of the righteous always go to church always because there are so many opportunities so many of us meet you think why should i go to church you don't know maybe at that service that's where god is set to release you or to grant unto you breakthrough so this new year, seize every opportunity to pray, seize every opportunity to hear from God, seize every opportunity to tune in your channel to always be on the alert. And I pray God will help us in Jesus' name. Have a beautiful Saturday. God bless you.